In this video, I'm going to go over what I've done for Planet Xavier version 2 so far, and I'm going to try to throw in some useful information for Planet games. So here you can see my uh, volumetric cloud. This is just the one that comes with the Unreal Engine. Um, it's even the, it's based on the simple uh, volumetric cloud material that is part of the engine. I've just modified it slightly so that we don't get the stretching. Um, there will, it, you do need to do a 50 minute tutorial uh, on triplanar materials for this to work. Uh, I'll put a link to the one that I use down in the description. Uh, you don't necessarily need to do the 50 minute one. It's just a, an elaborate explanation. Um, but here you can see the node that that tutorial had me make. Uh, and then we're just using this cloud weather texture uh, on a texture object. It used to be a texture sample because uh, there used to be a bunch of nodes that were part of the material uh, by default, but I've just replaced all of those with these three. And I hooked them up the same way the original material had it. So G goes up to the base and R goes over to A on the multiply node. Um, the other thing I've been working on is trying to make the shadows for the clouds. It's not quite there yet. I need a more gradual uh, transition between dark and light, but that's the best I can figure out so far. Um, but if I go back here, uh, I just have this hooked up to change between them with my lerp. And I'm just taking, I just duplicated uh, these nodes and created a new version that is darker because uh, that's what the uh, beer powder does. Um, I also started on this uh, auto landscape material. Uh, I'm going to go for a much more realistic uh, styled planet this time. Um, so if I click on my planet, uh, I have this uh, planet multi-index collection. Uh, and that multi-index collection is going to be made up of multiple uh, auto landscape materials, basically. Uh, that way I can have a bunch of biomes that each have the slope function that makes it so you can have different textures. Um, beyond that, if I switch back to RGB, uh, we can see my first three biomes. I have a subtro subtropical desert, uh, temperate, no, not temperate, seasonal forest, uh, tropical, and a rainforest. Uh, I still need to add the temperate region, which will start about here probably, and the polar region, uh, and those will go on both sides. Uh, I have it on another project, I just haven't finished converting it to this larger size than I had it in the other project. Um, but next I'll probably just keep working on the two things that I mainly focused on here, the clouds and the auto landscape material, uh, and also start on foliage. Uh, I have a bunch of Blender assets that I want to take over uh, that I got off the Blender marketplace, but we're going to see if Nanite works with those or not. I hope this was useful. If it was, then please do subscribe 